Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to another hard-hitting episode of the Callous Mind Talking Head Sportscast. This week, we are making our divisional round picks, and we're reviewing the wild card playoff round. So without further ado, let's jump in. Okay, I'm just going to tell you right now that I was three wins and three losses for my picks in this wild card round. And uh, the reality is that, you know, I wanted Cleveland to win. I wanted Miami to win, and neither of them did. Uh, pick sixes went against Joe Flacco, which that's a bad, bad habit, and it's a very, very costly habit. And uh, so the Browns go on the road and lose, and that sucks. Uh, Miami, too, goes on the road to a frigid Kansas City and loses. Uh, it's not a huge surprise, though. Warm climate to cold climate, high-flying offense into a cold climate, and then you end up with seven points. So, you know, what what are you going to do? But that's the way the ball bounces sometimes, right? Uh, Sunday's games, the Green Bay and Dallas game, I think, was probably the most surprising for me of the entire weekend because I did not expect for Green Bay just to go into Dallas and just roll like they did. Uh, credit to Jordan Love and Matt LaFleur. Uh, they must have had a hell of a game plan uh, because whatever they did worked like a charm and uh, Green Bay went into Dallas and got a big, big win. The next game on uh, Sunday was the Los Angeles Rams visiting the Detroit Lions. Uh, and the Lions squeaked by and got that win. So I'm uh, super thankful for that. I'm very, very happy for the Lions organization and I hope that they continue winning. And then uh, Monday's games, Pittsburgh at Buffalo, uh, you know, I'd, I'd pick Buffalo to win that game, and they didn't disappoint. And then uh, Philadelphia at Tampa, and Philadelphia did just about what I thought they would do would, was lose. And uh, to only muster nine points either says a lot about Tampa's defense or says a lot about Philly's offense. Uh, either way, Philadelphia is sent home to contemplate what to do next, and Tampa is moving on. So the first game is Houston traveling from west to east to take on the Baltimore Ravens. And normally that does not bode well that a dome team comes outside and plays in the cold, traveling from west to east. Uh, I think the game time temperature, let's see, I have it in my other window here, that for Baltimore... It says on Saturday that there's going to be a high of 2017 and a low of, or I'm sorry, a high of 27 degrees, a low of 18 degrees, but the real feel, according to AccuWeather, is going to be 14 degrees. So this is going to be brutal, brutal elements to play in, and along with that, the fact that Baltimore's at home. And the Houston Texans have a rookie quarterback. I'm going to go ahead and roll with the Ravens in this game. But now, in all honesty, I would not be surprised to see the Houston Texans win this game either. Because the reality is, you now have a couple of weeks that have gone by where some of these players haven't played. Uh, it, it's hard sometimes to get revved back up once you've kind of shut it down or slowed it down. Uh, Houston's been playing for their playoff lives, and they were, you know, played for their continuing playoff life uh, last weekend against the Browns, getting a big win. So uh, sometimes it's hard to uh, shut it down and then restart it. We'll see what happens, but I'm going to give the Ravens the benefit of the doubt here, and I'll take the Ravens at home. The next game on Saturday is the Green Bay Packers visiting the San Francisco 49ers. Once again, these two teams have a recent history with one another. And I I do believe that Green Bay could go into San Francisco and get this win for sure. I mean, they just went on the road and beat the Cowboys that way. So, you know, if you get a bad day from Brock Purdy or whatever, then, yeah, there's a good chance that Green Bay can win. Uh, so, really, this game is a coin toss as well because everything that I just said about the Ravens as far as you know, stopping and slowing and resting people and having them shut it down, that also applies to the San Francisco 49ers here. But the 49ers, in my opinion, have been arguably the best team in football the whole season. 
they've had their ups, they've had their downs, uh, they've had their bumps in the road for sure. Uh, but this just kind of feels like the year that they're at least going to get back to uh, the NFC Championship game, if not back to the Super Bowl. So I'm going to take the San Francisco 49ers at home to get the win against the visiting Green Bay Packers. And then Sunday's matchups feature the Tampa Bay Buccaneers visiting the Detroit Lions and Kansas City Chiefs visiting the Buffalo Bills. Uh, I, I fully believe that Tampa Bay could go in here to Detroit and get this win. I don't have any doubt about it. Uh, you know, they play indoors, uh, so that's a benefit really to both teams and to the crowd uh, because you get to see, you know, probably as high of an offensive point output as there is uh, available to see because you're indoors and not impacted by the weather inside. Uh, but this is more of a fandom pick here because I, I, I believe that Tampa could go get this win, but I'm picking Detroit because I would much rather see the Detroit Lions get this win against the Tampa Bay Buccaneers than I would to see Tampa win this game against the Lions. This, this would be a more meaningful win for me personally, but I'm an OU fan. Uh, I like Baker Mayfield. He went to OU. So if Tampa was to win, it wouldn't necessarily hurt my feelings. But for my friend Jay, uh, for other people, I'd like to see the Lions win. And then on Sunday, uh, Kansas City finally, finally, finally goes to Buffalo uh, in the playoffs. And this is what Buffalo has been waiting for for a long time, just to have that sweet, sweet, sweet home field advantage against these Kansas City Chiefs may be a huge deal because you know these these guys have uh you know a recent history in the postseason and uh but typically those games have taken place in kansas city so now you got buffalo here finally getting to host so kansas city and buffalo this is probably the game of the weekend uh once again it's going to be incredibly brisk at uh this place and so According to AccuWeather, a Buffalo, New York is going to ha have a high of 27 degrees and a low of 21 degrees on Sunday with a real fill of 10 degrees. So, good Lord Almighty, that's going to be brisk, and I feel for those players out there, those are really, really some tough guys because I just could not bring myself to play in that kind of cold, I don't think. And I know that Kansas City is more than capable of going in here to Buffalo and getting this win. But perhaps, maybe, it's Buffalo's time this season. So I'm going to take the Buffalo Bills at home to get this win against the visiting Kansas City Chiefs. That's going to do it for this episode of the Callous Mind Talking Head Sportscast. Thank you all for taking some time and spending it with me today or whenever it is that you're watching this video. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and comment. And please, please, please be good to yourselves and each other. Until I speak with you next week, God bless.